welcome back to our ongoing office 365 series <coughs> um, in our email setup video which is this one uh, we went into the uh, when we're setting up the exchange um, there was some like uh, when we are going through the mailboxes let me click on that one um, there were policies it was this policy i believe yeah so these are the default policy like uh, we want to join like what are these policies do you want any policy or you want no policy what are these how this like um, <coughs> so today we want to see the permissions that is are under here So we want, we want to see what are those roles or policies that should be under here in user roles. Like what exactly is this default role assignment policy that we saw over there. Uh, we're going to see that and then we're going to see all of these. What are these? And so this one um, basically is the policy about the users. Uh, like we uh, in that video when we're talking about that uh, users have some kind of admin um, features to the, available to them for example they don't have to send in a request for an admin to change their address or phone number or personal information so they have like a little bit of um, control they can change all that or um, other things uh, these are all everything um, like it's in the default policy when applied user can do such thing so the any mm, organization they can add their own or they can add it this one for example if we go over here you can see it's the they can there they can modify custom apps they can install read write mailbox apps etc so this is the, all the one through here <clears throat> if we add it here and uh, there's more detail like uh, this the this is the name of the policy so basically it's most likely the uh, what are they like contact information they can change their contact information they can change their change their profile distribution groups like if uh, it is uh, <coughs> available to them um, uh, like the groups which we talked last night uh, they can exit or leave that group something like that so their custom apps they can download or install third-party apps or customize them <coughs> marketplace read write mailboxes and mail subscription so whatever is checked here they are able to do that like this one is unchecked so this is the default policy it's very simple so when we're seeing all that so this is actually the detail what's included in the default policy the other one is outlook web policies <coughs> it applied to when they're using the web app so basically um, like uh, on our, our organization either we can go to um, we can launch the outlook from the start menu the like whatever is installed uh, from the office or we can go to outlook.com uh, i think or charter.outlook.com something like that so we we ha we have our index available to us through the web as well so this policy applies to that one and you can see it has journal then feature what they can use through the outlook.com can they access file and offline access so it's very simple now this one is basically what i really wanted to touch base is admin rules for anybody who has the exchange admin privileges this one is really simple uh when you click on them they show what it is about what assigned rules what they can do who is the member and managed by so for example if i click here 
it's gonna load everything for me and you see there are no members because uh, we haven't set up anything yet um, Ali is a member he's exchange service admin if you remember we made him in the last video uh, help desk I okay I was thinking that maybe the local help desk guys were added automatically over here but not so we're gonna click uh, all of them one by one uh, this is the this is their all of their um, um, descriptions and this is the members and assign roles what they can do so everything is same you can keep seeing um, you click on each one read it and you know um, members so exchange service administrator whoever is the administrator of that group automatically becomes the member as well and also the company administrator group whoever is the member of that so I, wa I wanted to show this one and then that is obviously the very last one security admin so tenant admins tenant are your, your users it's like another one so basically because I, I installed it and I was running so I'm a member admin so I can add users um, and this is the last one so let's start with the last one basically this is for example uh, a new guy joins your company and you have set this up for like um, quite a while and you have done all the hard work um, there were paperwork and policies were made and everything has been done up and running and this guy joins down the line uh, he's a junior admin you want to give him access but not the full access because if he accidentally deletes it edits or change something that is going to be quite a mess he's new so you can give him view only management so he can view everything he cannot make any changes so he, that's how he gets familiarized uh, with the system and once he is up to the task you can start giving him uh, additional roles in your um, thing for example you can make him a, a member of help desk help desk is, is the one um, uh, reset password user option view only recipients so they can manage them as well and they can reset most of the time as users they just want to reset their password or their other option so you can edit it so there are two buttons one is the edit help desk let's go with that one from here you can add the members right here but let's read it this is the name description what's their right scope default policy roles you can add assign more roles to them for example it's a small company you just want them to give them access to application or audit or email setup or mail something like that you you, you can give them additional um, roles to this group since everything is default and um, they're done like they have given you quite a few options um, it's really up to the company where whether they want help the guys to have more um, responsibilities or they want the, some some of the guys to add to a different group so if they want more roles they can assign it from here and then this is the members who are the members of this group uh, who are the admins who are, or help desk guys who can change users password previously only um, I could do it right and then I think we made Ali for exchange I don't remember making him for the users so let's suppose I may I want to make Ali I want to give Ali additional responsibility of uh, help desk guy so congratulations he has been promoted from an exchange admin to also an help desk guy as well I can save it and you will see his name pop up here all right so Ali is a member <coughs> so the funny thing is I am the super admin kind of because I set up everything I'm not a member and I could add him so don't be confused um, I can add myself as well so you can add like you have five five guys or you have 25 doesn't matter you can add all of them here 
so there are other like this one i think it was a, a red air antivirus and so these are all the uh, record management recipients so these are all the um, admin administration rules that uh, your company can give them uh, like they can assign user different and they can be um, members of this group and they will have control of these features within the office 365 so for example uh, let's get back to help desk what if I, we want to remove Ali Ali has left the company how we remove him so we don't want him. one way is that you just disable his account but uh, he has left if he has left the company you disable his account obviously he will not be able to log in if he cannot log in he will not be able to manage anybody else but what if he has changed uh, departments he was help desk guy he joined the business he's a business analyst now he learned something and he moved up the, to a different department he still in IT but he's no longer in a help desk guy so you can again go to the edit button and you can click on him and then remove see if you click um, negative sign he's gone see if I save it this takes a little bit of time so he's gone so all of this again you will be like somebody will be managing help desk and adding the members possibly you to so you can um, do the junior stuff of um, user password resets um, but uh, somebody will add you or if you are that person you will be add others um, your company will decide which of these groups they want to use uh, there's another one they if they they can uh, create custom role like totally custom group uh, and assign it um, roles so they can name it over here uh, something like IT policy apply to IT <clears throat> so you can assign uh, or they will assign all of these roles which one they want so there are 55 they can assign or they can actually assign everything make them the super user so they have all of these rule, roles and they can add a member and that member just again just like in the last one once they assign that member that uh, let's make a leap add him and I don't remember which one was uh, the admin let's both we save it it's gonna up update again this part somebody of your like IT manager somebody they will actually um, come up with um, the need and all the specifics of this group I'm just showing you how to add all those rules maybe they just use 10 15 or more or less so they will be doing this and they will tell you add who to add to this group who to remove it uh, or something like that so basically you just need to know how this stuff works and you don't have to worry how you're gonna um, configure it uh, from scratch because somebody else would be doing that I'm gonna pause the video here it's just a slider so I don't want to waste your time let's keep the video short simple sweet I'm gonna pass the video once it's done I'm gonna show you the results so that um, did not work I think uh, it evered out I think it had something to do with
the office being expired I'm gonna quickly renew it where is it yep so I'm thinking so basically uh, again I just uh, <clears throat> you add them and let's try one more time actually the error said something the sign policy and all that I am thinking because it's uh, IT or oh, UT is fine. Unified board. Like the final rules will be just address list. Let's do that. Add a member that should be the very first one is fine. And save. I'm think. <laughs> okay, so right there. Uh, okay it has nothing to do with the billing um, maybe I was assigning um, uh, like I clicked on everything so it didn't want me to uh, it said something about uh, policy or something um, but anyway so you see uh, that uh, what I added is showing up here like whatever whatever my custom uh, admin role um, was so now I can you see the Aliza member is it can address list whatever the role I gave it first one and uh, managed by two people me and the organization management whoever is that so to delete it simply yeah again if you would just want to add more members you can click on um, this icon you can add more roles you can delete or uh, add or remove um, uh, users but to delete completely delete it there was a um, department that used to house in this building now it has moved to another one or it's totally gone you don't no longer no longer need this policy just delete and it will be deleted so this is uh, the admin uh, everything on the roles or permissions through the admins one I want to I'm gonna learn all these and then come back and make a video but that was it for the permissions I wanted to touch I remember when we made that uh, email video so I saw those and then it's related to this one like what are the policies what actually they do what they allow you or uh, permit you to do so I wanted to touch base that if this video is helped you uh, please uh, Consider subscribing, sharing, commenting, and you have a good day. Good night, actually.